It will be fine, Carly. Just, just talk me through it. Okay, Doc. I'll do that. Take, take your time. Well, it was uh, the end of summer, probably early August, late July, and it was late. My bed was covered in sweat because I was tossing and turning. I, I, I couldn't sleep. But then I noticed that I just blacked out. You noticed you blacked out? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And there was a like a light. A light and and a real soothing voice, you know. So I just kind of tried to lay back and relax and you know, I was scared. I was terrified. Go on. Well, the alien he whispered to me. He goes, "Everything's going to be fine." And of course, I knew he was lying, but I was so tired. I just wanted to sleep, so I, I gave in. Now, you had been drinking, is that right? Oh, yeah. We was all partying, and we were so gone at that point. Who Who is we? My cousins and their friends, and a few of their cousins as well. I see. Continue. Well, <laughs> the alien... He probed me and... I'm sorry, I, I know this is difficult. Are you saying that you were probed in your rectum? No. I'm saying in my china. Your... China. china. My china. <laughs> yeah, it, it was kind of like I would imagine intercourse would be like. Only I, I wouldn't know because I'm a virgin. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he told me that I'd, I'd done a, I'd done a great job, and, and I was very special. He said, "Don't worry if your friends tease you about being visited by an alien, because he's probably just jealous." Of course, Carly. What did the alien look like? I don't know. I mean, I, I <laughs> everything was so hazy. I mean, you forget I was, I was pretty blastered. You know, he did sound though. So much like my friend's brother. I mean, isn't that weird, right? That 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 the alien sounded so much like a guy that was at the party. <laughs> that is indeed weird. Then he just left, and he left me with this. I don't know what I'm going to do, Doc. I can't have another alien baby. My parents are going to kill me. Uh, another? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, this happened two years ago with uh, another alien. He looked just like my cousin. And uh, he he done the same thing right after a summer party, and I had that alien baby as well. It looked pretty normal considering, but if the government ever got hold of him, I mean he would test on him for sure. You can't tell that government about my alien babies. I will not <clears throat> mention the alien babies. However, okay. I would like to get the names, Carly, of your cousin and your brother's friend. Was it? Someone's a little snoopy today. I can't tell you that. That's private information. Carly, can I give you a word of advice? I can't see that I can stop you, Doc. You may want to lay off the boozing. What? <laughs> Are you crazy? Why would I want to go and do something like that? Well, for one, you're pregnant. Right. And the other, you know, limiting your alcohol consumption may cut down on the frequency of visits by, well... Aliens. If that isn't the stupidest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> you know, I gotta go anyway. I got a support group to get to, so. Support group? Oh, it's a godsend. Oh, those ladies. They all got alien babies and they all look like their ex-boyfriends or, or just some people in the neighborhood that they know. I mean, those wily aliens, <laughs> right? Heck, there's even one lady. She's got a baby alien and it looks just like my daddy. These ladies, are, they're just wonderful. But wait till I tell them what you told me and your advice. Quit your drinking. <laughs> Don't get a hoot out of that. <laughs> Dr. Dum Dum. <laughs> Come on. Now what do 
why I owe you for this nonsense. Who's in this photo? Oh, that's my son Cleveland, the one I was telling you about. Now, how much do I owe you? Can you take a check? <laughs>